Thanks for joining us. Dr. Mark Vaughn of the Auburn Medical Group giving you a pre-recorded video because we're not able to do the live video with the live chat. We normally do it at 4.30 on Monday afternoons. Enjoy. Hey, thanks for joining us. I have Mason. Mason, what happened? A uh, friend put a ear, uh, Q tip in my ear, shoved earwax a little bit farther in, so uh, don't let your friends do it. <laughs> okay, uh, was this a dare or had somebody been drinking too much? Or? No, just they, uh, I had said I haven't done it in 12 years and they say uh, it might be that bad. So they looked at it, huh. not too bad. <laughs> uh, and so where was this person trained? Uh, not trained. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what advice do you have for our viewers about putting things in their ears? Uh, go to professionals, <laughs> always go to <laughs> professionals. <laughs> okay, we'll pick you later. So thanks for joining us. We are going to get this looked at and figure out what we're gonna do here. And we can see it right at the opening, ready to come out. After looking in both of Mason's ears, we find that on the right side, certainly there's a significant abrasion, probably from that Q-tip that was in there, and a, a little strand of wax kind of going across, which I think we can get out without causing any more damage. And on the left side, it's absolutely clear. It looks wonderful. So we don't need to do anything to the left, just let that abrasion heal over time. He'll be seeing some little residual scab and blood coming with that as it heals. That, that's fine. Just let it come out. We don't have to do anything to that. I'm smiling. Care of it, so. He's smiling. You can easily see the big mass of earwax just right in the middle of the canal. And then, of course, at the bottom, you see the results of the abrasion from the Q-tip that had injured the ear canal. The ear canal is quite soft and tends to bleed if it's uh, rubbed. Oh, there it is. Oh, did you see that? Had a hold of it just, okay. They just slipped off. It, it, it's very frustrating <laughs> that uh, you can have a hold of something and, and it doesn't come out. You see the difficulty here with putting the forceps together. You, you want to do it to grab the wax, but you don't want to go too far. And you can't tell how far you are because you don't have depth perception with just a single point of view, which is all that a single lensed camera gives you. It's not like binocular vision that we have with our eyes where you can tell how far back you are. So you have to judge it by roughly where you see the ends of the forceps in relation to the wax chunk. Then we tried some alligator forceps. It's a much larger instrument than the uh, little tiny needle forceps I was using earlier. And to get it in and open up the, the end of the forceps there to try to get a hold of it, there was just no getting the right angle and it was pushing it back into the eardrum, which, which he felt. So we gave up on the uh, alligator forceps with just that one attempt. Going back to the, the needle forceps, that's not actually what they're called. I just refer to them like that because those are very, very small pointy tips. And it's probably the thing that's going to get a hold of that cerumen to be able to remove it. But you have to go wide enough. Again, very difficult when you have the camera in there. Oh, there we go. Uh, it came off, but right in the opening. So we can get that. It just came off right in the, in the canal there. So we're able to use the alligator forceps to grab that one. Nice. Look at that. That's what was blocking it. Let's get a view on the inside again. Let's take a look inside of that ear. So if we can get a camera in there, we see just that one little strand going across. The big chunk is gone. The, the canal is clear except for just that one, I'd call it a little flake of cerumen. Uh, we should leave that alone given how much trauma has already occurred to the ear canal. Mason, thank you so much for joining us and for letting us film what's going on in your ears and put that on YouTube. Oh, yeah. We appreciate that. Hey, do you have like uh, socials that you want to throw out there so people can follow? I do not. <laughs> okay. I am a ghost. <laughs> okay. So we do here, and of course, Auto Medical Group YouTube channel, but also at Dr. Vaughn on all the socials. Until next time, we want to thank Lindsay Antoine, especially for what she does to be a part of the Auto Medical Group channel and the rest of the subscribers and people on Patreon. Again, that's at Dr. Vaughn. Until next time. Mason, Dr. Mark Vaughn telling you to stay in good health. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah.